All right, we are recording. All right, hi everybody. Uh, this is an effort to take the notes from the SIG release roadmap and try to figure out what we're trying to do, why we should do certain things, what order we think we should do them, and basically just break them down. Uh, we may not have all the information and people that we need to do this uh, completely. And I had suggested yesterday, we also think about doing a survey to ask the community what they think the roadmap should prioritize. So with those two factors in mind, probably can get some good things done here today. Oh, hey, Navarro. All right, so um, I'll drop the link in here again, because I don't know if Navarro will see it. It's joined newly. But what I did was just pretty straightforward. I took the items that are priorities, listed them, and then whatever the outcome shot was that was included there. And then some notes. And then, as you know, uh, there's issues that are attached to those related issues. And then there might even be issues attached to those middle issues and even more issues so i just did a little bit of uh, follow follow the breadcrumbs and if i saw things that looked like tasks that were not done i put them under an actions needed column the green items are in progress the yellow items are to do two of them don't have enhancements written so i just proposed that's probably the next step we need to take and then there's some requests to other groups so that maybe you want to break these down into what are the next small asks that we could make from those groups to achieve some progress there. I also created this follow on sheet. Column A has the same items from the roadmap presented. Again, the color coordination is the same. Green is in progress. Yellow is to do. The outcome sought as drafted in the roadmap. And then a few key questions that could help shape the priorities and help us figure out what, what we're really trying to do and why. What are the research needs? What risks do we face in trying to achieve this? How would we know when we're done? By things that we create? or get rid of? And then how do we know we're done by some sort of metrics? I don't know. Hi. Hi. Um, I just want to speak about just one issue because I I signed the issue myself a long time ago, but we because I don't have bandwidth until end of the month, I can work on that. So, but I think the line eight. Yeah. So. I just want is... to. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to. Re um, bring back the comment Ben make in the issue about make, it, make this issue as a priority because we rely on an infrastructure not really owned by Google. Mm -hmm. Technically, but every release is done using Ben workstation. So we need to basically have full ownership on that. And so I want, I want to make that a priority for these milestones. I'm just mm -hmm. but I'm just really busy with work stuff this month though, but I will work on that when I have time. Okay. Uh also been made the comment about what's the what's need to be done. I think if you open the issue, you will say, I think you will say a comment about that. Yeah. So like trying to describe what's the current state 
of this process and what needs to be done exactly. But the, the one first step is we need to have a technical agreement on how we want to handle signature for the system packages. Because currently what's happening is at the end of release, we ask Google to build system packages and sign them using Google GPG keys. Mm -hmm. And we can't export them, which means we need to issue new keys that need to be trusted by the community upstream and downstream, which is kind of impactful for all the customer. Okay. I think that's the first step we need to do. Basically, um, to be more concrete, Docker did that, I think three years ago, let me, I can, I can yeah. I'm looking for a blog post and Docker did, oh, basically okay. did something similar, uh, I think three years ago about this. Okay. I don't really remember too, but it's basically the same process. We need to issue a new, G, new GPG case that's, that will be important and trusted by the community. And when I say community is basically the entire ecosystem. Okay. or anyone relying on those system packages to deploy, install, and upgrade the Kubernetes project. Okay. Once we have an agreement on that, we can basically move forward by set up the infrastructure needed on the community infrastructure to make the release okay. using with release manager associate and using the community infrastructure. So what's involved in getting that agreement? And uh, tech, the technical lead of SIG release, basically release engineering. So release engineering creates the agreement and like, what do you uh, need to actually get it, get something written? Well, just basically an okay to basically issue those GPG keys. That's what I need from uh, the, the, the TL and the signature, basically. Okay, so from the SIG release, from SIG release TLs. TLs. Okay. We so... had a conversation, I'm sorry, we had a conversation about this, I think two or three months ago, there was some kind of not full agreement on how we need to handle this. And time passed and we, we never bring, brought back the conversation. Okay. Are the parts that weren't agreed to in the agenda or some other document where you would see like what's outstanding for resolution? Uh, um, I think it's mostly somewhere in the meeting notes yeah, of okay. the recently meeting. I we need I need to remind when the when it will. But I can bring back okay. the conversation again. Um, next SIG release meeting or release engineering. How we want, we plan to do that? Like a quick, a ten minute conversation between the SIG chair or the, the the technical lead and trying to try to get an agreement. Okay, so release engineering or SIG release, which one would be best given the audience? I uh, will say release engineering. Yeah. Release engineering? Yeah. Okay. But I think those meet, we're planning on merging those meetings now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it, it because most of the they they're just so interdependent. Okay, yeah. I could be, I could be wrong on that. Uh, maybe Joe or Jeremy could back me up on that. I think there's a conversation about this yeah. uh, next SIG release to for the merger. Yeah. So like until then, I would say release engineering is better. 
yeah but in terms of function it's release engineering absolutely yeah 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 okay okay so if you have your meeting you have your outstanding items you get those agreed to then what happens like this issue has been with us for a pretty long time right oh since 2019 so what brings what what could we do to bring this home um, I guess if this is the current state, right? If this is like where we are today, Ben's comment. Yeah, I think I think once we hold up that we just need to put things in work and trying to basically work on the issue from a technical one, trying to basically right. build the system packages inside the community infrastructure. Right, but. And try. But that's been hard for the project to get done, right? Not blaming anybody. I'm just saying this has been think, with us since 2019. So how could we design the work so that perhaps a small team um, of people could even work on this instead of just maybe you having to do it all? Okay, so the issues is I will split the, if I want to basically try to split play the issue the ownership issue is between sig release and sig gates infra because okay gates are a way to put in place the infrastructure need needed by sig release to do that implementation implementation okay so i i would say once we have an agreement we're basically trying to set up a development slash sandbox environment inside the community infrastructure and give access to Willis engineering to try to basically work on that. Okay. Um, uh, is this work going to require the usual people who already have a ton of work to do or is there opportunities for brand new or maybe even uh, can not be both. so brand new contributors? Okay. I'm happy to have anyone new or interest to work on that. Oh yeah, um, no, I don't doubt that. I can, but... I can basically, we can try to basically do something simple, break down the issue, class that, because the number of issue break down in small issue on the kids and front side and assign and basically made some kind of communication inside Slack and basically say, if someone is interested to work on that, feel free to ask yourself. And we can walk together. And I say walk together in like with his engineering, C release, um, with his manager shadows and kids infra to trying to make progress about this. Okay. So that's kind of what we're here to do today. Yep. Um, break things down. Do you think there's anything we can do on that now? Like, are these items and looking at them, seeing if they are actually like tasks that Ben is suggesting? Yeah. Um, I, okay. I'm the, I'm the only one to speak on this call. So I will shut down <laughs> and leave everyone talk because Pal is inside this call and Veronica is also in the call. So I will shut down for the moment and leave everyone talk. <laughs> I think if you want, we can chunk the tasks out in this call itself, but clearly there are like two, three parts here. Number one is like getting consensus on who holds the signing keys as Arno told. Mm -hmm. And the second part is like establishing the build tooling on community side of things. Um, so one is um, who owns the keys and two is um, the build tooling. Yep. So these are like clear broader tasks, but both are like different scopes as in number one is more like policy and number yep. two is tech. Um, right. I'm not opinionated on who should do it. It's just like any contributor can do it. Um, if people have to take ownership, like I'm happy to like work on either of the parts with Arno, um, mm -hmm. but possibly like after, or even, I don't know, like if this would require a cap, I, don't know, uh, frankly. I mean, I would think that after three years of this thing being kicked around, that question would have come up somewhere. 
maybe. Yes. We we <laughs> we I think we have kept about this somewhere because this is part of the artifact distribution cap. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah. There's Yeah, someone had asked this before in 2019. And yeah, I guess there's no cap connected to, connected to this directly right now. It's coming hmm. up. Let me, let me find it. Right, so I understand what the asks are, right? The policy issue sounds like a conversation and you're done. What I really want us to think about is how we could actually do number two in a way that will get us across the finish line. So we can close this three-year-old issue. So usually how that can go is we break things down, doing the highest impact work first. And that, of course, requires a bit of conversation about what that would be. But making it an achievable goal um, versus if, if this is a big blob of stuff, that's those things tend to not get done because they're just too complex and there's too much going on. I don't know, go ahead. You don't have to. You just uh, chime in. We're small. Okay, so... Uh, this is my personal perspective. I always okay. tell one of the broker of this issue is technical knowledge because we're dealing yeah. with system <laughs> packages. So yeah. it's more like not everyone is have deep knowledge on how basically to handle system packages like Debian, Debian package and uh, sent to us packages. I think one of the first blocker, I believe that one of the first blocker is that. So mm -hmm. if you want to make progress, we need to have people jump in that subject, basically try to dive in, in that subject and try to understand what's the current state and basically come up with a way to make progress. Mm -hmm. That's why it's is for the part who is unclear to basically define a clear part about this. So, so we need so, to so, have... so so what are the technical skills needed, Arno? Yeah. I would say yeah. if you know how to if you know how to build system packages for Debian or CentOS, you so it, you basically we need a Debian package maintainer. Exactly. Okay. okay. That's great. Thanks, Rob. That's a really helpful question. So uh, the Sorry, uh, the other thing is we can take inspiration from the existing script that uh, Google build admins run. Um, so I, if I remember correctly, that is open source and in our repository, it's just the signing keys and the build system that we don't have right now. So yeah. so, so what you're saying is, is that there's the, we are, we do have the automated capability to create the package uh, and it's just a final step to sign to sign the package that we need to that's the enhancement to what we currently have yes yeah uh, because not the... really oh, oh explain that yeah yeah we don't have the automated way yet ah, ah okay uh, but there's a script which googlers run from our own repository ah, it's just okay. that we never included them that script in the tooling because ah. we don't know how to sign them So, so, okay, right. So, so that's internal to Google, is it? Signing? Yes. Um, I think if we see what Ben suggested in the first part yeah. of his comment is that, hey, build an automated way, uh, add a new step to the CREL tooling, which yeah. will build system packages, put it into an S3 bucket or whatever GCS bucket. Mm -hmm. And we will make some changes on our tooling, which will instead of building it, pull that package that you have built, sign it and push it to our own repositories as okay. a first step. Now, the second step he uh, mentions is in parallel and next as to when the project as in community will set up our own host, our signing keys, and then we will publish completely end to end on our own. All right. And that's where there will be an interaction with uh, Kate Simfra. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah because yes. in par in parallel we need to set up the hosting infrastructure, and that's not that really complex. I think yeah. the real the real blocker is understand the Braille script for those packages and basically define a new a new way to sign the packages. Because every time we, I uh, I think the link, if you go down the page. Bands put all the link of the different script used to build those packages. So we we kind of need to decipher the script and trying to basically make sure those script works against the community infrastructure. All right. So that's so, what so I'm is saying. That, that's the next best step to take on this to progress this. Then is it to yeah. to get an understanding of that script? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. And wait, which which script is it? Uh, now, this one? so see, so I think the, or this top is level script, top level script, which does signing and publishing after invoking the bills. Okay. Um, yeah, so so somebody needs to. Uh... I I volunteered to do that uh, like two or three weeks ago. Uh, I think what I needed in place. I I think also Jason uh, volunteer for this because we have extensive uh, experience. Uh, signing Debian packages, etc. But we, what we need to have in place first uh, is uh, all the understanding <clears throat> of how our our infrastructure works. Not not only in the technical aspects, but like what are we allowed to do and things like that. You know, uh, procedural. Probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. am I am very ignorant about that, and I think that obviously. Yeah. Are now and, and, and you've spoke you've spoken about this before, Veronica. It, like there is a. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, there's there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of folkloric knowledge that needs to be kind of written down, and I think yeah. possibly I think possibly maybe uh, this is from the kind of from the outside looking in, returning to Siglis, I think there may be a reluctance to. There's always I think a reluctance to write certain things down when it comes to access and authorization okay. and all that kind of stuff. So that's why yeah. it's yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I'm very happy to continue on this path, and but I, I am officially volunteering to take care of understanding those scripts, yeah, uh, because I have done this many times. Um, uh, and okay. Veronica, I'd be happy to pair with you on that, okay, and, and, yeah, let's and, do it. and yeah, and and do the detective work on um. Uh, how do we open and close, open the doors and close them behind us when we're doing this work? Right, right. Yeah, that's very yeah, yeah, important. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And we have to go, yeah, we have to tell people that we will close the doors and gates behind us. Um, yeah. yeah. So who yeah. has the knowledge that you need? Who would be able to explain this and help you along? Uh, and from my perspective, it is uh, anyone from Cape Simpro, like Arno. Okay. Um, whoa, whoa, etc. <laughs> okay, we, might, we may need to chat about that, but yeah, yeah. No, oh wait, um, um, just I think we can even go deeper about that. So, yeah, the logic of the script doesn't need, doesn't really need involvement. We, we, of, yeah, we could read that. Yeah, yeah. Of Kate okay. and Fran, yeah. and that understanding, I I think, is better to reach out to Stephen or Sasha about this. So what I'm oh, going to okay. do in the meantime, I will basically set up what's needed for you to run the script. Right, uh, yeah, uh, to, be, to be clear, thanks Arno, uh, to be clear, like what I personally need uh, in case we're not in sync is literally anything from like what type of infrastructure we're going to run, what, I don't know, who, who owns, who pays for this? Uh, who can have access to this? All, all of those things, right? <clears throat> I, I'll be able. I'll be able to help you with that, Veronica, because I will literally be learning that kind of for the first time next week. Okay, great. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So, like, what, so, what type of uh, accounts we have? Like, all, all those things uh, yeah. that are not necessarily on the Debian realm yet. That now, so um, what are our tools that we have available? Yeah. What time zone are you in, Veronica? Right Eastern. now, uh, Eastern, but yeah. Eastern. Uh, okay. Okay. That's yeah. I'm I'm in Ireland, I'm and yeah. So so basically, I, I'm I'm in Dublin, Ireland. So uh, either side of the Atlantic is can be civilized in terms of meeting up. Yeah, yeah. And then the other bit of news that I would have is that I am a part of the official 
Dublin Welcoming Committee for Caleb Woodbine, who will be onboarding me. So I've just recently joined II as a, as a short term contractor. So mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be working with them next week, and I think Caleb might be able to help me with some of this stuff and, and show me right. around some of this stuff. Um, and and if he doesn't know, he know who he knows who will. And then of course between all the people that we do know, I think we'll, we'll figure this stuff out. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. I so, put the link. Uh, sorry. Um, just mm -hmm. So to respond to what Rob, Rob say, I put the link of a doc describing the Google infrastructure used by Seek Release. And okay. I think that's more than enough to get going. Yeah. To yeah. understand what's needed in terms of infrastructure, yeah. where are the project, we have access to the project, and so and, on. and then in terms of the ongoing conversation, Arno, about moving off uh, Google infrastructure to community infrastructure, would some of this work dovetail into those conversations? Uh, yeah, it's okay. the global uh, Okay, well, well, well then in that case, uh, uh, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be very interested in this work. And yeah, I think we can, between the three of us, we can figure this out over the next five days. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, so the steps that I'm hearing are that now there's this link that Arno has shared. This link will provide an answers to some of the questions that Veronica, Jason, and Rob have had, but maybe not all answers. So therefore, Rob is going to talk to Caleb and get yeah. some more information about the gaps. And then Arno had suggested reaching out to Sasha and Steven yeah for um i'm not clear on what exactly because oh basically the logic part? Uh, can you can yeah. you bring back the issue sure um here we go uh, if you check the i would say the basically the the to last link and, the, and there's a line like the package will yeah exactly Okay. Okay. So basically, I'm asking that. I'm saying that because uh, all all tooling during the release process are now Golang based. But before that, mm -hmm. we were all relying on a huge bash script. Yeah. And I right. know I Sasha, that. Sasha, and Stephen work on that, which means yes. they have they have context and knowledge about all those scripts. That's what I'm right. wanting. I want to direct the conversation for sure yeah that makes to sense them about this yeah okay. and and um yeah and in doing that i think myself and veronica what we'll do is we'll uh we'll shore up and and maybe augment that which needs to be written down about that tooling um um but yeah all, all of that tooling is available for us to, to to go through as well and learn about okay so the scripts uh, here don't have sufficient documentation so you want to change that and improve the documentation that's, that's yeah I, I think so yeah okay. I, I think we, we, yeah and, and we'll flesh out okay. the details over the coming week yeah okay so then um, Rob and Veronica will um, flesh out this uh, documentation mm. And, oh. and both in terms of what needs to be written up and what needs to be done. Yeah. So, so, so we, we, we'll know more in, in a week or so in terms of details. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we have some steps here. We have, again, um, looking at this link that Arnold shared, the policy discussion, which can come up at the next SIG release meeting after we look at the notes and see what was um, what remains on the table for resolution then for um the uh, the build tool and component uh, we want to get an understanding of the top level script and then uh, document what's missing uh, so that others can understand what it does how it works etc then I think that is for now enough. Yeah, that's definitely um, enough to be there's also this. It. Go ahead. Yeah. There's also this try to develop a sandbox environment and give access to release engine to work on that. So is that something you need to do now? 
Or yeah, that's you want to get that, through these steps for now. That yeah, so, that's that, that's something that 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 I, I'll myself and Caleb will be able to work on. Okay. Um, depending on what it means, Arno. Uh, just warning. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Caleb have good knowledge of this. Now, so to define sandbox env, is that a GCP project or? Yeah, because okay. basically in the link I put their existing GCP project yes. with ACLs defined for the release engineering team. Okay. Okay. So Already. you will see. So, I think I think you will see prefix or suffix like with test some something like that. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's better you just pick next week. I'm in the training week so yeah ping me if you need help like to so what basically tag me on this yes about this just tag me i will take care of that and yeah. i will help you on board in the in the project needed to work on that okay do you need that right now like would it be better to just focus on the do the docs first and understanding what's going uh -huh. on there and then spinning up this environment I, th I think it'll fall out by by us doing the work and asking the questions and finding what's missing, and uh, yeah, and, and what we'll do is, and I'll ping Arno um, to ask those questions, and yeah, there's there's plenty of people to ask about this work, um, okay. and, and then well, my, uh, go ahead, yeah. My my question was just this actual establishing the sandbox environment work. Do you need that done? now or can wait like i'm trying to think about like one thing at a time mm -hmm. so that we don't uh try to do too much all at once. I, i'd open that up to the to the rest of the group okay it's a good like I it's mean, a good question yeah baron offered to help with this yeah um well i think in general maybe not with a specific ask so yeah. um baron if, if you want to weigh in go ahead i think uh getting a sandbox environment is in more like ks infra domain yeah. Okay. Um, so Arno, I, I defer to Arno on this. Okay. I uh, will take care of that next week. Uh, let me put myself in the issue. Okay. Uh, so I think we, we have. Go ahead. Go ahead. Would we involve Arno? Would we involve Hippie and Rian in that? Uh, not necessarily. Okay, but but they'd be interested in, I'm sure, yeah. But in the work, I think it's gonna be a lot of people who just a sandbox environment. Okay. So it seems like I mean, there's a plan sheet. Okay. Sorry, I don't say no. Mm -hmm. I just you just can propose them if they're interested to work on that, but I don't yeah. really see value on involve more than the people in this call. Yeah, the reason I thought of it was um because it, it, you know in terms of the conversation between having uh, Google infrastructure and community infrastructure would be they interested from that point of view. Like, I mean, I'm sure that Hippie will be uh, delighted to set up sandbox environments for this and other projects. You know, that would be something that he would be interested in doing. Um, I think the problem is access to the infrastructure. Um, I, I folks have audit access to that. I think the problem is even if they are interested, you we need to work on how to define the policy for this access. Okay. So but given, that it's but given that it's community infrastructure, yeah. if that's what we're talking about doing, that yeah, the yeah, they would be very interested in that, I think. I okay. think I could be okay. wrong though. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'll ask them next week. <laughs> ne neither of them are backwards and coming forwards, if you know what I mean. So I think with these items that Ben has these bullet points. Some of these are to do's, and we've talked about a few of them already, like the first. And then you have a few smaller, discrete items that you're going to take on. Yeah. I think what we could do is tell a story here about the steps to get this going and, and done. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I think I think then, be- yeah, I think between myself and Veronica, we're, we're I think we're both high, sufficiently motivated um, to to push this forward. And I think, okay. uh, although I can't tell you the story now, uh, I think I'll be able to tell you the story properly in 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 a week or so. Right, yeah. that's with the first step, um, yeah. but we have other things that we need to be doing here too, and that's fine. Those can yeah. come later. But yeah. I think that this is like a blueprint for what. Yeah needs to be done and we fleshed out a few of these steps which is exactly what we were what we're here to do so um and then i just wonder if there is a like a success what it looks like how do you know that you've achieved the goal do you have a clear sense of what that is um it's listed here that it's automated builds of dev and RPM Kubernetes packages within community infrastructure. Yeah. Is that it? Uh, Is that- very, per- well, not personal, but my team's motivation for this <laughs> is that right now it's very painful. Uh, the, the process is very painful the way it is because mm-hmm. um, they're, all of us are understaffed. <laughs> so when mm-hmm. we need to collaborate on this, it has become very inefficient. I mean, uh, I, I want to use the word that is blameless because that I I this, this is not an this doesn't have a negative connotation. It's like it is the way it oh. is. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So success for us would be that we could be independent about this, you know, that we could uh once we caught releases and and yeah, we want to 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 pub- publish them to be able to do it uh, by ourselves, you know, uh, t- without having to rely on on the Google people. <laughs> and right, also, right. I am sure they will be relieved. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> their success story would look like the opposite side of that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, success is a clean break, like independence. Yeah. It, yeah. Great. Arno, you have your hand up again. Yeah, uh, because there are 15 minutes uh, mm-hmm. left for the call, mm-hmm. I also see the order of the issue in the call. So I want to basically say something. We really need to to go fast. We need to lower our expectation. The ultimate goal, mm-hmm. the ultimate goal of this is to basically not rely on Google to make the release. So the first step is basically say, oh, I'm cutting a release using existing tooling against the community infrastructure. I would say just for the alpha release. That's my first goal. Okay. So um, I'm cutting a release using tooling. Uh, I could put alpha, I'm cutting an alpha release using tooling, uh, using community infrastructure tooling. Yeah, against basically, I would say, okay, we we are able to basically cut a release for alpha. We don't even need to announce that, but internally, and when I say internally inside SIG release, the first yeah. success is we are capable to push system package inside the community infrastructure. That's my mm-hmm. first success. And now when we do that, the next step would be basically to inform the community we have now a next trust up in the release process because we push system package inside google and also inside the community infrastructure we need mm-hmm. to do that because we don't want to break people over just one milestone it's a long pro- pro- uh, process because we need to expect people to migrate from the Google uh, from the Google registry to the new community registry. Yeah, m- more specifically in that context because yeah. we have a package signed with Google keys. We also, we need to wait gotcha. until basically everyone consuming the system packages migrate to using the package signed with the community keys. And I please be, uh, please Dim tell me I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, um, the changing of the keys mm-hmm. is going to be important, and yes, a uh, lot of CI/CD jobs 
would have already imported the existing keys that are held by Google, which Google will not share with the community. We have to generate okay. our new keys and um, publish that, and it'll take some time for the adoption to take place. Um, so, the, the, I, so, so I don't know how, how it, sorry, go it, ahead. It, so, 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 so uh, uh, sorry to cut across, but to jump in quickly, the, the, there's a migration path from whatever release we bring this out on. And so, so when we change over from the Google keys to the community keys, that there'll be a cutoff in in uh, Kubernetes release version where, mm -hmm. where where that has happened. And and this is where the this is where the this is where the real work will begin once we've lined our ducks up in a row. Yep. Um, migrating jobs across. Yeah. That that's this is where it will get tricky. I think. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think at the yeah. beginning of the release, we should publish the keys and say. A, um, start importing these keys because these are the keys that will be used when we actually cut a release for 126, say, right? And yeah. then uh, get people ready by actually getting the keys out uh, into the wild so people can get prepared. Right. It, and in a way, when we have that problem, that's what success looks like for us. That means that we're, we're trying to migrate people. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Your all of your preliminary work is mm. done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just use one twenty six as a hypothetical. I I can just put X X if that's not realistic or you know we don't want people to assume <laughs> or get nervous. It, it, uh, yeah, yeah. I think um, just maybe qualified as projected and 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 as well, we come I back week put week to week. There. Yeah, yeah. But as we come week to week, we, we'll 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 know better. Yeah, so when we'll we keep XX it. for now, yeah, and then yeah, okay, because I don't want to make false estimates or any any at all, really. Yeah, so, one two X is great. Good, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I, one I two like X is a sometimes. good compromise because uh, then we know it's in this decade of release. Yeah. All right. So, um, what we can do or I can do next is create an outline of these notes. And then I would just share it in the SIG release channel um, in case I miss something or you know something's out of, out of place. And then we can add it as a comment on the issue and then get a fuller picture of what, what Ben is suggesting, like with all of the actual to-dos. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think that sounds reasonable. I think we, yeah, and I think we've, well, we've talked enough about it now to, to know next steps and, and we'll refine yeah. as we go, yeah. Okay, great. So I wanna call out that this issue is actually at the bottom of the list of the roadmap, but we've talked about it quite a lot and it does definitely sound like a big blocker for saving time and making things easier. So do you think that this item actually should be bumped up the list before cluster API providing CI signal, before clear documentation about available ver version markers? Navarro says yes. Okay. Um, this issue is a blocker for salsa at some point. Okay, right. yeah. so that's another reason yeah. to yeah bump it up to yeah. do it. Okay, great point. In fact, I think I have um, there's a blocker for salsa. Okay. Yeah, it, I it, think it, I had it, made the connection of this um, because up here we have um, we haven't mentioned. Up here, like it's this this, this item is mentioned in yeah. the until device. the packages are signed, they could be anything, you know. And oh, sorry, the pack it was this one. It was this yeah. one, where it was a blocker. Okay. Um. Well, we have, I guess, eight minutes. I mean, I can go a little longer if folks are really energized to take take on more, but. Uh, we have these things that are in progress and you would know uh, if you think they're relatively taken care of people are working on them they're moving forward you feel like we're going to get them done arno i think i saw a comment from adolfo about working on um release artifacts signing somewhere uh-huh 
uh, it was. So there's there's a fairly substantial list of action items um, from this umbrella issue. Nine thirteen. Yeah, is so. Uh, this it, is from Dims from twenty nineteen. Um, I don't know if this is updated. Like if we've looked at these recently and determined what has been done. Um, one has this issue here, so we that would be easy. But for the rest, there's no links. And that was three years ago, obviously. So I don't know if if those items are even relevant anymore. Um, oh, here we go. Actually, oh. We come back to this then. <laughs> so all roads lead to Ben's guidance. So I guess it's handled there. Um, so then I guess we would just go back to the home item. And This was open and attached to the issue and two issues here and this one, PR. We'll, we'll review this in the next week. And by, by that, what do you mean the actual yeah, I, I think it's PRs part of our yeah, to... yeah, as part of it, the okay. investigation work, we'll have to go over this. Oh, you and Veronica. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. And, so you Yeah, will... and, and in conjunction with the wider community. And yeah, we'll, yeah, this will help this will help us, I think. Okay. Yeah. So I would put this as a to-do item under the other one. Um, which was now quite ah. A little tricky in a okay. Um, Rob cool. Veronica would also review this as part of investigation. Um, Arno, uh, sorry, I was um disconnected for a moment. Okay, so what was the Oh, um, that Veronica and Rob will review this citing release artifacts as part of their work over the next week. How this is related to the system packages directly because we... So, because of signing? Well, basically, this it's not the same mechanism. Uh, we don't want to introduce a new one for the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, okay. Yeah. And the, the basically the issue related to um. Uh, well, 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 if that's what we discovered, that's what we discovered. That's fine. We, we don't need to hash that out now. We, we'll get it through quickly. Okay. I mean, what if so, yeah. we, 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 I will. Issue... I will. I, I'll, I'll, I'll ask. Let me read it and I'll ask you questions, Arnold. If that's okay. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. But but thank because... you for the heads up though. So just to be clear, um, yeah. those issues are related, but they don't have a deep connection because the okay. signature mechanism is not the same mm -hmm. depending on the artifact. For the system packages, we use the traditional GPG signature system. For the binaries, mm -hmm. we want to basically use cosign plus something from Mac OS system and Windows systems. So they are related, but they are not deeply related. So okay. it can be work, the approach can be different. In terms of implementation? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I would also suggest that whoever has been looking at this most closely, mm -hmm. continue doing that and that you can discuss together uh, yeah. what, what, your questions are because I think you already took on quite a bit of work for next week. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. if this is owned by somebody already, then they can just continue mm -hmm. driving it. And yeah. um, do you do you all know offhand? I mean, I see Pri Priyanka here. She was here earlier. Yeah, hi. Still here. Like, how do you feel about this, Priyanka? Do you feel like 
Oh, uh, hey, Lori. Uh, I was having a chat with Sasha and Piorko uh, this week around this one. Mm-hmm. I think Piorko have made some progress on this and they are planning to talk about in uh, this particular kept in the coming Tuesday release meeting. Um, they are planning to move it to beta, this release. Oh, great. Okay. Planning. And I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name. You said somebody's name. It's oh. Adolfo. Adolfo. Oh, okay. Puerco. Okay. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. And to have this, um, this release. Cool. We'll talk about it um, at next SIG release meeting. But then I would work with him and you if, if you're also co-owning this Priya to to just shape up like what what the remaining tasks might look like so that you can just cross them off easily and be done. Kind of like what we just did. Um, I think with this one as well. Um, Salsa compliance. I know Adolfo was working on a lot of that. Maybe he's the owner and driver of this too. Okay. Definitely an owner and driver. I just need to step uh, away for two minutes. Yeah, sure. Um, then we have these two. Oh, wait. The binary artifact management. This one is another one from 2019. <coughs> no, 2020. I'll um, correct my comment there. It's frozen. So it's on the list is what number two or three, but frozen. So maybe not, maybe knock down the list. Um, that's an epic and uh, basically covering everything we say today. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So is it That's... duplicative? No, so it's basically helping track down all the effort related because everything we'll be talking about is for now is is related to artifact management and that's the yeah. umbrella issue. So right, it more like it's more like keeping track on the effort. Mm. So the the issue acting as an epic. Okay, because this is also an umbrella issue, which one could argue is an is the issue. basically is the same we talk about in the first issue we talk about, and it's really to add to to do it. It's so the epic is the brand of that issue. So I I remember talking to Stephen about a lot of this last year because um, he started to look at these more closely before. Yeah, this yeah. is like last winter. Um, it sounds like artifact management is a broad theme, like the most high level, long term to do. And this yep. is one epic underneath that. Yes. And I would assume that that is why they're listed separately. Because, but maybe they ought, arguably should not be because this is confusing. <laughs> if you have an aspect of a theme, and a theme like presented side by side. You probably, for the interest of getting things done, want to focus on one at a time. And obviously we feel quite strongly about this one. So I, I would suggest to, to the SIG release leads that um, this artifact management topic becomes reframed to something it's, more specific. Yeah. Uh, but based on what Arno uh, said there, I would suggest that it's the quote unquote end users of the signed artifacts um, that that drives different implementation and different approaches. And that might be the way to think of it. Uh, so when we're looking at binaries uh, and signing binaries that are downloaded onto a variety of operating systems, uh, we need to be mindful of what can read those signatures that I presume. And that's why we're looking at cosine, Arno. And uh, and that's a question. And and then in for Debian packages, there's there's other mechanisms that will be established, you know. So so that's why there will be differences. But uh, I agree with the, the to frame it, getting the specificity right in in, in both those stories is important. Mm -hmm. 
So who would want to, is anybody here able to take that on? Like, it seems to me that this probably needs to be de-scoped because you have the DEB and RPM packages covered elsewhere. And so maybe it's just one of these two instead. And then- I'd say, I'd say let's, should we have a chat with Stephen and- Yeah. And yeah, yeah, let's, let's um, yeah, because it is, there is, um, yeah, a, a bit of specificity on what artifacts we're talking about, I think would, may help, but let, let's review it and have a look at it. Yeah, I, I'd be happy to um, have that chat with Stephen. Okay. Yeah. I agree with Rob. We don't have the right people in this call to talk about this. I think we can just mm -hmm. bring that conversation on yeah. release but, engineering and yeah. But but but, like, but, but, but 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 Laurie is correct to say you know in order to in order to track the work, you know, uh, it, it's good to frame it properly so that we don't end. What Laurie is good at doing is portioning out the work in such a way that we improve the chances that it gets done and, <laughs> and 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 really what this is to do with is list management and task management and, and creating the correct correct uh, length of list is important you know so yeah. artifact is an overused word in our community you go to a proud job and the log files are called artifacts in it when you look at spyglass in mm -hmm. a proud job and i kind of go mm. Okay, I, I would have stuck a log file in front of that artifact, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, because with the first time I look at the link, I go, yeah, where is the, uh, where, where are the Kubernetes binaries, you know, but it, it's it's the log files, which are artifacts of the proud job. So it, it, it is a an abused term in our, in our community. Yeah, it could just mean different things. Yeah, so, yeah. adjectives help, it's, adjectives help. It's, 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 it's yeah, simple. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. So, so I think we covered that. Next task is to talk to Stephen and try to descope that artifact management epic into something that is not repeating the other work and is more specific mm -hmm. to something else that has to be done on that topic. Um, so I don't know if we can actually do anything with these. I mean, these have no, um, they have no enhancements. Um, And I guess we've covered everything here for now on this list. We yeah. talked about each one of them. So I guess we've done our job for today. I think so. I think you've done a good job as always, Laurie. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice really to see everybody hard. again. <laughs> it's nice to see everybody again. Um, yeah, we miss you. <laughs> thanks, Well. Yeah. <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> so, um, all right. So then I guess what we can do is uh, reach out to people and take the next step when we reach, uh, we finish what we've done. We said we were going to do today. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody. Thank you all. Great to see you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah,